shiny, 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 period. Shiny, the tsunami. What's up, YouTube? This is Shiny, the tsunami, coming at you with another video. Ooh, I've been waiting to do this video for so long because everybody, everywhere I go, whether it's online when I post a picture of them or whether it's in person when I'm at work. People ask me, where do you get your chain? Where do you get your jewelry? You know what I'm talking about? And right now, I'm here to answer that question. And then I'm gonna say whether, you know, I recommend it or not. You know, I recommend the shop or whatever. You know, what shops not to shop at. You know what I'm talking about? Let's get right into it. All right, so let's start off with the chains. Now, I'm gonna find a way how to get a close up of these, you know, get it up and personal, whatever the case may be. Okay, whatever, here we go. So I wanna start with this, this padlock chain, okay? Now, actually, this is probably the easiest thing to find. It's really the easiest. This is something that's becoming popular. A lot of people's wanting it, you know, and there's like a couple places where you can get it from. For this one, I got this off of Etsy, okay? Now, it's like, it's kinda like a crafting site, you know, where people make stuff. You know, it's kind of like where thrifting clothes is at, but it's really for like, you know, arts and crafts and then people selling stuff, you know, and it's more on that side of things. And so that being said, it's like real people, real sellers. It's not like a company selling these things. So it's kind of like the same situation with eBay. You got to see the ratings, the reviews. So I recommend looking at the reviews and, you know, checking it out and seeing if it got like a high, you know, high rating. And if it got a high rating, there you go. I mean, come on now, you can take that risk. It's, it's more, it's like less of a risk than a person that has one star if they have a five star, you know what I mean? But go to Etsy, you know what I'm talking about? Search up padlock chain and it's that simple. You can get it from other places like, you know, like ASOS, you know, Urban Outfitters is selling it too in different colors. So I recommend going to Etsy because you can find it for a cheap price. I got this for $20, $20. I know, you know, Urban Outfitters and ASOS, you know, they sell it for the same price, but you know, come on, they got shipping, you got you got all these tax, you know, they add all this extra money that do not need, need to be added. Period. All right, so the next chain, this is a barbed wire choker, okay? Boom. Now, this is also considered a choker. Now, if you're a guy and you're like, you know, you choker, that's for girls. Come on, man, it's 2019, chill out, get out of here. Now, this one I got off of Depop, but from a specific, you know, well-known uh, seller on that site. And her name is, well, her site or her shop name is Cyber Space Shop. She is really, really nice. You know what I'm saying? When I posted a picture of me having the chains on, she DM'd me. She was like, oh my gosh, I love you. Thank you for buying my stuff. And she is just so nice. So I got to promote her stuff. So download the site Depop and then search up Cyber Space Shop. And then this is where I got it from. Now, if you're a guy and you go on her site and you see, oh, this is like, it's like more on the feminine side, you know, that they're selling, you know, the models are only girls, you know, it looks like a girly shop. Come on. Come on. Look at how this looks on me. This could be a gender neutral thing. It can, anybody can wear it. Just because the person is promoting it or, you know, selling it and showing it on girls does not mean that you cannot buy it. If you're thinking like, oh, I'm not going to buy it because the girl's wearing it, you're either young or you just have a weird set of mind. But yeah, I think either a boy and a girl can find anything they want at her shop. Um, I'm really plugging her, but yeah, I just love this chain so much. It's dope. That's where I got it from. All right, so let me hurry this up. These other two I did not buy. This one, I'm gonna talk about this one. It has the version of Mary on it, and um, this one is actually dope. But the reason I'm bringing these two up, even though I didn't buy it, is because I know places where you can buy it. So right off the bat, what I'm thinking of is like, chains like this, you can buy this off of ASOS, like right off the rip. I bought some jewelry from there. I only bought earrings from ASOS and stuff like that. I didn't buy nothing else, so I can't really say. But right off the rip, I seen like, you know, I saw some some chains that looked like this. You know, it's in the 20, you know, the $20 price range. Um, I mean, that's an option, you know, Urban Outfitters is another option. I, I work there, but I'm gonna talk about it later, how I wouldn't really recommend jewelry. I work there, I don't wanna get fired, but I mean, come on. 
Now for rings, uh, these all I did not buy. So she, my mom probably bought them from Macy's. I got these when I was super young for Christmas. Um, you could probably get that from ASOS as well. Um, now, let me just say, if you're worried about anything turning green, I don't have a problem with that, okay? I didn't have a problem with my, my neck turning green, my, my freaking hands turning green, okay, now, but I don't know about you. You gotta determine if you're sensitive to fake jewelry, because this is fake jewelry, this is not real. $20 will not be real. But I mean, if it's good, you know, a good material, maybe it will be better. But, you know, if you know that you can't deal with, you know, fake jewelry, do not take my word for it because I'm different. I, I never had a problem where I turned green ever. OK, so if you have a problem with it, don't listen to me. OK, period. But like I'm saying, you know, ASOS is a place where I see a lot of bomb vintage rings. And I'm like, all right, that's as simple as that. That's where I, I shop for rings. Now, lastly, for this earring, now this is where I just, <laughs> I kind of um, talk about Urban Outfitters a little bit. This was just my problem. It's probably not with everybody, okay? It's not, okay? Everybody's different. For me, when I bought something off of Urban Outfitters, which is an earring, um, it was a bomb looking earring. It was really, really, really cheap. Um, the, the the silver was wearing off to copper. So basically it's not really silver, it's just was coated lightly with with silver. And I don't know like what I don't know anything, you know, much about that. But it actually made like a like a black ring around my piercing. Okay. And that it's not really that bad. That will go away in like a couple of days, you know, that black ring right there. Um it just means that your jewelry is just fake. That's what it means. It means take me out. The earring is telling you take it out because it's fake. So that's my problem with Urban Outfitters. It's really, really cheap. Um, it's not really something that I would recommend to get for earrings, okay? Not necklaces, not rings, earrings. And that was just for me, like I keep on saying. ASOS, I never really had that problem. I bought an earring off of there. Um, I didn't have the problem for some reason. I think it was, you know, better material, whatever. But I still wouldn't recommend going to ASOS because, you know, ASOS and Urban Outfitters are similar. So, you know, maybe it was just that particular earring. Maybe another earring will give me problems. But, you know, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna do that anymore. And I found this at Hard Jewelry. Now, bruh, this material ain't going nowhere. If you take a shower, if you swim, this this is gonna stay silver. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, I just got it, but I can just tell by feeling it, this is legit. This is a, like legitly coated. Like this is like, this is not going any, this is, good stuff, Hard Jewelry. I recommend that place. They have necklaces, as I saw, and that's really all I saw. I didn't really look, I was just looking for an earring. And when I went on the description, they were telling you straight up, this is not gonna wash out. The silver is real, like it's not, it's not gonna wash out, period. So what's good? So with that, I bought it, I was like, okay, it was like $26, which came out to $30. Um, it was really worth it. This seems so legit, and that's where I got it from. Boom, period. All right, so because this video is dragging out, that was the end. I mean, that's all the jewelry I have on. That's all the jewelry I really have anyway. So that will be the end of the video. Anyways, if you want to see some more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more videos of me, then subscribe. Thank you for watching.